All right, everyone. Um, welcome to the first edition of the GitLab Online Hackathon. I'm David Plonella. I'm the Director of uh, Community Relations at GitLab, and uh, I'm joined here by Ray Paik, my mate and colleague, uh, Code Contributor Program Manager. And uh, we'll be here to guide you through the, uh, through the event, um, what it is, what does it look like, how you can join, and uh, how you can participate and, uh, and get started. Um, I think then, without further ado, uh, let me just um, fade into our uh, slides um, and share my screen with you. Okay, so um, there we are. All right then, so yes, this is the first time that we run such a, an event. We're planning to um, to extend this uh, on the next uh, on the next quarter to have more hackathons or hack days, uh, so that um, people can participate and can join. Uh, joining. Um, one of the things that we always say at GitLab is that everyone can contribute, and that's exactly why we're um, creating this event. We want to show um, everyone how easy it is to contribute to GitLab, um, how easy it is to uh, essentially do your first, um, uh, your first merge request, um, and then get help along the way. Um, so, in terms of the event itself, um, this is what we're going to talk about today. Um, we're going to guide you through the logistics, um, how to join, uh, what uh, would it look like, and so on. Um, then we'll go through the session schedule. We've got a set of tutorials um, with some experts on uh, different areas of contributions to help you get started on those and uh, also answer your questions. We'll talk about merch, uh, merch, merch request and prizes because, yeah, we've got exciting prizes for contributors. And um, Finally, we'll go through the starter's guide to contributing to GitLab, uh, actually on how to get started, and then finally, uh, we'll have some time for questions if you have any. So, at a glance, what's the, what's the hackathon? Um, it is a two-day online contributor event with prizes. Um, we're kicking it off today at 7 o'clock UTC, um, and uh, it will run until tomorrow, uh, Friday, at 23 um, o'clock UTC. Um, it's online, it's distributed, it's uh, asynchronous, but it can also be synchronous um, in terms of um, conversation. If you've got any questions uh, on how to get started, um, if you get stuck in a merge request, if you need help from an expert, uh, we'll be talking uh, at the Gitter channel. Um, it's gitter.im slash gitlabhq slash community. And uh, there uh, we'll have some experts that, uh, that can help you uh, with your first merge requests. Um, on that line as well, we will have a set of uh, sessions every day uh, on different topics on getting started contributing. Uh, we'll be talking about the GDK, the GitLab Developer Kit, uh, about internationalization and translations, about uh, UX design, um, merge request coaches, and, uh, and, and um, I think we've got even one on the documentation as well. There you go. To join in, um, there's a link uh, for uh, participating live on the sessions. Um, I see some people already join us, so hi and uh, and welcome. Uh, with this, you'll be able to participate live on the on the sessions to ask your questions um, to the um, um, to those who are uh, um, driving those sessions. Um, in any case, you can also ask questions on uh, on Gitter, as mentioned before. After the um, after the sessions, um, the, um, these sessions are going to be recorded, um, and we will upload them to YouTube after the um, after each one has been has been finished. Um, you can check on the on that link. Um, we've got a wiki page where all of the links to all of the videos will be will be posted essentially. In terms of, of people, um, who we are and who you can ping, uh, we'll have a set of experts on the uh, on the Gitter channels. Um, and um, you might just simply ask your question in there, and they will jump in if they're if they're uh, available. But if not, you can always ping each one of uh, each one of us. Uh, I said I'm um, I'm David. Um, I'm based in Cologne in Germany, so it's best to ping me during um, during um, European hours. Um, but in any case, I will see the ping, uh, the pings afterwards if uh, if um, if you ping me on on on, on guitar. Um, we've got Ray, uh, who's uh, based in the US, so um, we can cover the rest, uh, the rest of uh, two major time zones. 
And um, on that slide, you can see uh, our handles on Twitter uh, and on GitLab as well. I'm Deep Lonella. Um, Ray's uh, handle is rspake on uh, Twitter or rpake on, um, on, um, on gitlab.com. Uh, uh, I think, Ray, uh, you've got rpake uh, underscore gitlab on, uh, on Twitter, right? Right, that's correct. So yeah, I, I had a couple of postings uh, last uh, 50 minutes, which we should both be pretty relatively easy to find on Gitter. But uh, yeah, like David has noted, like any questions on whatever channel you're most comfortable with, just, just ping us and we'll do our best to get back to you or find others who can help. Excellent. All right. So a few words about uh, about Gitter. Um, some of you might be familiar with it. Uh, you might have uh, used it before. Um, we've got two rooms essentially on uh, on Gitter. Uh, you can see the URL on that uh, on that slide. Essentially, um, you can see the um, the people to ping. I'll update the slide with the with our, uh, race uh, correct um, handle uh, once I've finished. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean essentially. Um, the community channel is the one to uh, to be on when we want to ask questions about um, getting started, about uh, contributing in general. Uh, we've got another support channel, which is uh, GitLab HQ, um, but we tend to add, uh, and we tend to direct people who ask support questions to that uh, to that other channel. Um, it is cozy right now. We've got uh, about 60, 60 people, so it's uh, easy to read, easy to get to know everyone, um, and uh, as I say. Um, please do post your questions uh, in there, and uh, we'll be really happy to to get to them as, as soon as we can. In terms of the sessions, uh, we've got quite a lot of uh, um, well, quite the panel uh, of experts in here. Um, we're having uh, five sessions, uh, as I said, on different aspects of contributing to to GitLab. We'll be kicking off today, um, right after the um, the um, this presentation um, on the next hour. Um, so Toon Klaes, um, who's based in Belgium, uh, and he's a developer on the um, on the Geo component of GitLab, um, will be uh, talking us through the GitLab development kit. Uh, essentially, this is uh, this is uh, what you will need to ins to install once you start uh, um, getting involved in development for for GitLab. Um, you might be able to do some of the some of the first contributions directly on the ID on GitLab, but some with, for something more involved, then you probably have to go to the GitLab development kit. But in any case, even if you're just starting, uh, I would recommend to go to that session to understand what it is, how to install it, and when you will need it. Uh, so that session is going to be today at uh, eight uh, o'clock UTC. Uh, 10 o'clock um, in European time, 1 o'clock uh, Pacific Daylight time uh, in the US. Then today we've got another session. Um, Mike Lewis, who's uh, the manager of the um, technical writing um, team in, uh, at GitLab, um, who are the responsible for creating the documentation at uh, jobs.gitlab.com, will be talking, uh, talking us through contributing to GitLab documentation. Um, this is also an important session in terms of um, Documentation being uh, one of the first areas of contribution, or one of the easiest as well areas of contribution, because um, um, it's relatively easy to get started. Um, it's relatively easy to edit the pages online, and you can even submit your um, your first merge proposals online as well. So be sure to be there uh, today um, at uh, 14 UTC or 16 um, European time or 7 o'clock if you're in Pacific Daylight Time in the, in the US. Um, then today we're going to have another interesting one um, in terms of uh, other areas of contribution. Hannes uh, Rosenhauger, um, who's based in Germany, is uh, one of our core team members. Uh, core team members are essentially a group of volunteers, essentially uh, a group of um, community members who um, have uh, done sustained and key contributions to to GitLab and uh, essentially um, managed to enroll that uh, that team. Um, this is our team of uh, ambassadors. This is our team of leaders in GitLab, and we're very proud that uh, that Hannes is actually uh, taking his time to to do this presentation. He'll be talking about internationalization and localization at GitLab, um, both important areas uh, for users that uh, speak other language than uh, than English. Um, in terms of internationalization, uh, that's again another um, easy area to get started contributing uh, on development on GitLab. This is about uh, 
essentially marking um, messages for translation so that translators can do the can do their work. Um, then on the next step, we'll be talking about localization, which is um, the work of um, people who are translating GitLab uh, online. So this is going to be today at uh, four o'clock UTC, uh, six o'clock uh, European time, and uh, nine o'clock in the morning um, in the US. And then tomorrow um, we'll have uh, Sarah Veselov, um, who's the UX manager at GitLab. Um, he'll be guiding us through the GitLab uh, UX design workflow. Um, you can check out our slides on the uh, on our wiki page. Uh, they are um, they're quite rich in terms of uh, in terms of content, and uh, it's quite interesting to to see how uh, the UX team uh, works. So I do recommend to go to that session as well. That's going to be tomorrow. 2 o'clock UTC, uh, 1600 uh, European time, 7 o'clock in the morning Pacific. And then finally, we'll have uh, Clement Ho, um, who's the front end uh, engineering manager uh, for distribution monitoring and packaging at GitLab. And he'll be talking about uh, merge request, request coaches, um, who we are, what their work is, and how you can reach them. Uh, essentially, merge request coaches are the first people that you will. Uh, encounter when you submit your uh, merge request and they will guide you through uh, getting your merge request um, accepted and merged. That's going to be tomorrow at uh, uh, four o'clock in the afternoon UTC time, um, 1800 uh, European time and nine o'clock um, Pacific time in the US. All right, so here's just another reminder of the, of the schedule in uh, table form. Um, again, as a reminder, you can join the sessions live uh, using this uh, Zoom link and uh, recorded sessions will be posted uh, as soon as the sessions finish uh, on, the, uh, on the GitLab Hackathon uh, wiki page on that link as well. Yeah, just, just a quick uh, uh, comment, I guess. Uh, thanks, David, uh, on these sessions. I mean, we don't necessarily expect all these sessions to last a full hour uh, if you're concerned about time. Uh, I mean, we wanted to be conservative in terms of budgeting uh, uh, the presenter's time in case there are a lot of questions uh, uh, for, from people that are participating. Uh, so even if you're able to only join for like, you know, 20 to 25 minutes, I think you might get like a gist of the important topics. For example, if, if you're interested in internationalization. Uh, so don't feel like you need to budget like a full hour for this. And if you need to leave early, like David said, there'll be recordings. Um, so even if you're able to only participate for, for a portion of the time, you're more than welcome to attend. And then the wrap-up sessions are going to be relatively quick. Uh, maybe it'll be slightly longer on, on Friday. Uh, but mostly I'll be sort of recapping what's happened during the day. I uh, probably won't have a whole lot of slides and, and you know, any feedback that we've gotten through, like, you know, through uh, Gitter or other channels. Uh, so, um, yeah, so I, I think that's all I wanted to cover. So. Cool. Thanks, Frank. Yep. Yep. All right. Um, so next, uh, so I think that's the central part of the uh, of the event. Essentially, um, merge request uh, is about uh, getting started. It's about uh, submitting your first contribution in the form of a of a merge request. Um, generally, the way it will work is that you will either have a feature that you want to include to GitLab, or you have uh, a feature that's a feature or an issue that's uh, that's been pending uh, that's been already been submitted to GitLab. Uh, and you will pick it up and uh, and work and work on it. Uh, a good place to to start looking at um, at which uh, part of GitLab you'd like to work on is this uh, long and ugly URL. So apologies for that, but essentially it will take you to that uh, to that page that you see on the on the slide where you can filter um, the pending um, or uh, you can filter issues that are accepting merge requests. Um, and you can see um, that you will start with the long list. So we've got about 500 right now, so you've got quite a lot of choice in there. There are different levels of difficulty, so um, so depending on your skills, and you can you can choose the one that uh, that, that you think uh, you might be able to work on. And uh, also, what I would recommend as well um, is uh, while you filter those uh, those issues, uh, you can use the um, the search box in there to add another label in there other than accepting merge request. If you have documentation, uh, you will see the documentation issues that you can you can actually work on. And as I said, uh, documentation issues, issues are generally the easiest to get started on in terms of uh, in terms of uh, well 
in terms of logistics, in the sense that uh, you generally don't need to install the GDK. Um, however, um, it also requires good, uh, good technical writing skills too. Um, in any case, that's uh, that's uh, a place where you can just go and uh, have some choice to get uh, to get started. If you already have something in mind, uh, if you've got a feature or you've noticed a bug uh, that's not in there, uh, please do feel free to contribute with uh, with that as well. So, any other contributions are welcome, not just the ones that are uh, they are listed. And then, yes, when you uh, are working on a, on a, on a mesh request, uh, feel free to, uh, to mention, uh, which is essentially just the writing or handle on the, uh, on the documents, uh, on the, sorry, on the comments of your merge requests. Um, you can also uh, mention uh, the, the docs team with that, with that handle. And what this will do is that um, it will add a to-do uh, on, our, on our list and we'll, it will give us a notification for us to have a look, to have a look at that. So yes, do do feel free to to do that as well. Yeah, I I haven't also I I mean what I also will kind of think about doing over the next couple of days is that as as I get notified on on these merge requests, I, I might create an issue under under uh, under hackathon where where the wiki is located, and keep an inventory of of some of the uh, merge requests that have been coming uh, that have been created. Uh, during the event, uh, so people can, you know, make sure that we're not missing anything. But I'll let people know on Gitter that if I create that page or create that issue. Excellent. Thanks, Ray. All right, and then uh, now we get to another interesting uh, part as well. So uh, at GitLab, we're always really, really thankful for any for any contributions, um, and we always think of ways in which we can reward. Um, and acknowledge um, essentially those gifts uh, uh, where people have spent their time uh, and put a lot of effort in, the, in making GitLab uh, even, even better. Um, so for the hackathon, uh, anyone with a merge, uh, merge request, that means that they have submitted and they, they have gone through the process until it had gotten merged into the, in the, into the code, will receive, a, will receive a prize. Uh, also, we'll have a grand prize uh, for the individual with the most uh, merge requests uh, merged. Um, and then uh, we will um, we also um, bear in mind the fact that uh, merge requests sometimes uh, can be difficult to to get uh, to get merged in terms of um, there's a process of iter iteration as well. I mean, you might get, get it right the first time, but it might, uh, uh, upon review, uh, you might need to go back to go back to it, do some changes resubmit and so on. So that's why we are extending the window for merge proposals to be accepted, not only to the two days, but uh, to a week after uh, as well. So um, to be eligible for the price, uh, your merge request must, be, must have been merged by, um, by October the 8th, um, um, essentially next, next week. Uh, also prize winners uh, will be notified by issues on the Q3 Hackathon project. Um, so um, we will announce it uh, generally on a blog post, but then we will get in touch uh, with you uh, via um, email or via notification on the on the hackathon project. Prizes themselves. So uh, these are the prizes that you can uh, that you can win um, by submitting and getting your merge request uh, accepted. Uh, so each uh, submitted and accepted merge request will have a twenty dollar coupon for the uh, for the GitLab shop. Um, there's going to be a maximum uh, one a maximum coup one maximum one coupon per uh, per contributor. Um, and also the uh, the contributor with uh, most accepted merge request uh, will get a grand prize of hundred dollar coupon again for the for the store where um, he or she or uh, they will be able to um, uh, to pick um, essentially a pack of uh, or of uh, merchandise items. Uh, coupons will be need to be redeemed at shop.gitlab.com, and uh, we generally make this a uh, very very straightforward process. All right, so uh, getting more into the meat of uh, how to get uh, how to get started. Um, so in short, uh, just visit the contributing to GitLab page. Uh, it's about gitlab.com slash contributing. Um, that will list all of the ways in which you can get involved. Um, you just need to pick uh, to pick one to get started. I would recommend to focus on just uh, on just one. Um, but here to reflect, uh, what we'll be talking on, uh, on uh, about during the 
during the event and uh, different ways to get uh, to get started. Uh, we can delve in a bit more into uh, into development, for example, documentation translations and UX design. Uh, for development, we recommend downloading the GitLab development kit. Um, it's on that uh, it's on that URL on that uh, repository, and there's documentation in there on how to uh, install it. Um, there are different <clears throat> documentation pages as well. Uh, there's one on troubleshoot, troubleshooting, for example, uh, if you get stuck. But today and tomorrow um, will be um, more active than, than usual on the Gitter channel. So feel free to ask your questions in there as well. Um, in terms of documentation, you can go to docs.gitlab.com, uh, read the documentation, see if there's anything that you think that could be improved, and uh, essentially scroll, scroll down to the page and you will see an edit this page link at the bottom at the bottom. That will take you directly to the repository and to the file of that particular documentation page. And you can submit your merge proposal from there. This is a very, very streamlined way of, uh, of getting started um, and essentially making um, the docs uh, better. Um, translations, um, there's two different ways of contributing. Um, internet translation, which is uh, about, as I said before, making sure that these uh, messages are available for translators to do their work. Uh, essentially, the way to get started is uh, similar to, to development. You will probably need to download the GitLab development kit, PDK, uh, but we've got some more information um, which is uh, specific to, uh, to I-18 and or internationalization in short. Um, for localization, uh, you can go to uh, translate.gitlab.com, sign up for the crowding project, and get started translating it on, on your language. Uh, translations that you do there will be, uh, will be reviewed by another peer, and once they've been reviewed, um, they will get onto the next, uh, onto the next GitLab uh, release, um, which is monthly. Um, but let me just talk about it uh, in, in a minute. Then finally, uh, UX design. I will have Sarah to to talk about getting uh, involved in design. But uh, for, a, for a taster, you can go to design.tikitla.com to learn more about uh, our guidelines and UI components um, and how you can um, essentially make them better as well. So one quick word about uh, releases and about when your contributions will make it to, to the next, uh, to the next uh, GitLab um, major or ma uh, minor, minor version. We release GitLab uh, once a month on the 22nd each month. Uh, so it's a, a fix um, and uh, a known cadence. Um, so w uh, any of the contributions that you do for the, for the, for the hackathon uh, will get um, um, to be published on the next version of, uh, of GitLab, uh, which is going to be 11.4 uh, uh, on the next uh, 22nd of, uh, of October. So that's an easy way to see uh, that there's a tight feedback loop in terms of uh, um, well, getting your contributions reviewed and getting your contributions actually online for everyone, everyone who uses GitLab to, to use. If you need help, uh, as a reminder again, you can go to uh, community, uh, to the community channel in Gitter. Um, not only these two days, but uh, please do feel free to ask your questions um, anytime. Um, if you get stuck, uh, or if you've got any particular doubt on how to on how to get started cont contributing, uh, these two days um, there will be more chatter, there will be more traffic on the channel. Uh, but generally, we're always in there, and we're always uh, we're always happy for people um, essentially um, getting involved. Um, so yeah, again, getting started contributing to GitLab. Uh, it's a contributing page. Um, if you learn, want to learn uh, more about uh, merge requests, I put a link in, in there. It is a basic unit of contribution. Uh, essentially, um, for development. Um, if you want to learn more about uh, merge request coaches, uh, do feel free to go to uh, to Clement's question uh, to Clement's session tomorrow, as per the, the schedule. Um, you can find the merge request coaches on that page uh, on the on the on the link, um, and then you can uh, you can actually find them. Um, and uh, find them by their handle and ping them on, uh, on issues uh, to, to help you. Uh, that's their job and they will be more than happy and um, they will be very, very well welcoming uh, as well to, to, um, for your contribution. And then finally, if you uh, are looking for a particular expert uh, on, uh, on the area that you're working on, you can go to the, um, to the Rewards and maintain, Maintainers page 
uh, for each one of the projects. You can scroll down and see the managers uh, and developers for, for each one of those projects, and you can ping them um, uh, individually as well. So you can add that, uh, that ping to, the, to your merge request as well. And then finally, that's, uh, I think that's all that we had, uh, unless, Ray, is there anything else that you Yeah, need? just, uh, I guess just one item on, on the merge request coaches. I mean, don't feel like you need to have uh, your merge request like almost 100% completed before you get a hold of a, get a hold of a merge request coach. Uh, I mean, even if you have like things like partially done, but if you have questions, uh, just go ahead and submit a merge request and then, you know, either find a merge request coach or contact one of us and then we'll find somebody who can help you. I mean, that's what they're there for. Like if you think you got uh, you know, issue addressed most of the way, but you have a couple of other questions that you want to ask, uh, it's completely appropriate to submit a merge request and, and then go from there. Uh, they're, I mean, they're, that's what they're there for. They're there to help you. So, yeah. And then, uh, also to complement on on that, you can uh, you, you can see it on the UI, but you can mark your uh, merge request as uh, WIP as a work in progress as well, and that that's a standard procedure uh, as well. So people are happy, uh, and with people, I mean, uh, people um, folks from the GitLab team are happy to start looking at your merge request and given give, give you guidance even when it's in in a work in progress. So that uh, essentially, that, that uh, if you're going in a in a direction that's uh, that perhaps not. Uh, not fitting to the to the code base, um, they can give you guidance on how to um, well, how to spare your work essentially. All right, uh, so let me check the GitHub channel. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, any right now. Yep. yeah, feel free to ask no any questions. On Gitter, but... questions. Um, we'll wait for a couple of uh, for a couple of sessions. If there are seconds, sorry, if there isn't anything else, then uh, as I said. Um, once we finish with the meeting, we'll upload it to we'll, we'll upload it to the to the um, to our YouTube channel, and we'll have the link for people to uh, to watch later on. If you're too shy to speak up, feel free to type it on the chat. So. All right, so I think we'll leave it at uh, we'll leave it at here. If you've got any uh, any or follow questions, uh, as Ray said, feel free to type them directly in the chat, and we'll uh, answer them directly in there. That's uh, uh, gitter.im uh, slash gitlab hq slash community. So uh, yeah, happy hackathon. Thanks.